Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our LAMP webinars. As usual, we have the first topic, blood. We have here a case of a 42-year-old female whose tongue is described as uh, reddish, slightly contracted, and uh, there, uh, there is a, a red color in the anterior third with red points, coating without root, dark blue, distended sublingual veins. Symptoms, severe hair loss, fatigue, sense of fullness in the right hypochondrium. Western diagnosis is malignant hepatoma. Background, use of contraceptive pills for 18 years. Chinese diagnosis, kidney yin deficiency, heat in the heart, stomach, yin deficiency, liver blood stasis. Another case, we have a th an 83-year-old male whose tongue is dark red, small, and shiny with dark purple sublingual veins with dark spots, complaining of dry cough, night sweats, low-grade fever, intense feeling of heat in the body, labored breathing and shortness of breath, and exhaustion. Western diagnosis, chronic bronchitis and emphysema. Background, heavy smoking for 60 years. Chinese diagnosis, lung, stomach, and kidney yin deficiency. As you can see, there is no coating. Severe blood stasis in the upper burner. Let's talk about blue or bluish tongue bodies. When movement of blood becomes impaired or sluggish, this will result in fixed, localized, sharp pain that worsens at night or with rest. And this can occur in any part of the body. In the upper burner region, this involves the chest, heart, shoulder region pain. In the middle burner, we have fixed pain in the abdomen or under the ribs, lower burner, lower abdominal pain or severe menstrual pain. Hard fixed masses or tumors are frequently sign of blood stasis. Color of tongue body can reflect any impairment in the movement of blood. The nature of color indicates the flow of energy throughout the body. If the chi is weak, insufficient blood is transported to the tongue, so resulting in a pale tongue body. When the yang of the body moves excessively and moves blood too vigorously to the head and tongue, this will result to red tongue body. In blood stasis, the movement of blood will be seriously impaired, so the tongue will have a characteristic blue tinge, which may be seen on the lips and fingernails. The basic color of tongue body provides the information about the cause or origin of blood stasis. Pale and bluish tongue can reflect either chi deficiency, which means that chi is not strong enough to move the blood, or blood deficiency, blood stasis induced by severe bleeding. Thank you very much for your attention. Now let's proceed to tongue diagnosis and let's welcome straight from Rizal, Ma'am Teresita Sumile. Good afternoon, Ma'am Teresita. Good afternoon po, Dr. Hector and classmates. Welcome to tongue diagnosis and now let's talk about red short tongues. This tongue type indicates severe exhaustion of kidney and liver yin plus development of vigorous heat. This can lead to a very serious disorders as extreme heat consumes fluids and yin, the most serious being internal movement of yin. Tongue is short because fluids, blood, Yin are not adequately nourishing tongue muscles. Tongue thereupon loses its elasticity and its ability to move freely. If tongue deviates to one side, this indicates presence of internal heat. Although this type of tongue is the result of severe yin deficiency, 
treatment with pure tonification is not indicated. Internal wind must be extinguished and the young sedated. Now let's go to our patient, female, 19 years old. Tongue description are red, small, and short. Very pointed, prickles at the tip, and intense red edges. Symptoms are lack of appetite, constipation, amenorrhea, strong inner restlessness, insomnia, and suicidal fantasies. Western diagnosis, anorexia nervosa. Background to disease, serious starvation and divorce of parents. TCM diagnosis are kidney and deficiency, onset of essence deficiency, heart fire and heat in the liver. Case history. The parents of Mrs. S divorced when she was 13 years of age. She was extremely upset about the separation and felt responsible for it. She lived with her mother who was obsessed with dieting. Around this time, the patient seemed to have lost her appetite. She starved herself and despite long stays in the hospital, never gained weight again. She is now 19 years of age, 176 cm tall, and weight, weighs 42 kilograms. When she was 15 years old, she had a single menstruation. The patient was studying for her A-level examinations. She had great difficulty concentrating, could hardly sleep, felt very restless, and needed to be active all the time. She also suffered from constipation. The tongue was noticeably small and red. Her pulse was thin and efficient. The red short tongue shows serious kidney indeficiency with some heart fire developing. Since the fluids, blood and yin are deficient, the tongue is malnourished and shortened. Due to chronic starvation, the postnatal chi has been weakened, leading to malnourishment of the kidney yin and essence. The essence controls, among other things, the menstrual cycle or, and participates in the production of blood. Her lack of periods is due to the unavailability of material for the production of blood and her weakened essence. In this patient, communication between the heart and kidneys is disturbed. Heart fire, which resulted from the deficiency, causes severe restlessness and insomnia and manifests in a very pointed tongue shape. Prickles on tip of the tongue corroborate this diagnosis. Her unresolved emotional problems contribute to the strong teeth in the liver indicated by the tongue's red edges. This aggravates the existing sleeping problems and inner restlessness. The heat in the liver and the lack of fluids are responsible for the constipation, okay? Discussion. Red short tongues are always an indication of intense heat in the body. Heat dries the fluids and injures the yin. And it is often the case that the lung and stomach yin are injured in the process, which of the yin organs has been most affected and only be ascertained from the symptoms, okay? Now, besides draining heat gently, treatment in this case must focus on, 
on long-term tonification of the fluids, blood, and yin, so that all the tissues and organs in the body may again function harmoniously. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you very much, Ma'am Teresita. Next, we go to diagnosis by interrogation and uh, let's call on Ma'am Vina Pasqua for the presentation straight from Baguio. Good afternoon, Ma'am Vina. Good afternoon po, Doctor. Good afternoon po sa lahat. <clears throat> so, sexual symptoms po tayo, day five. At ang topic ngayon ay premature ejaculation. Premature ejaculation is usually related po sa kidney pattern and especially kidney chi, not fair. It also may be due to a heart pattern such as heart chi or heart blood deficiency. So punta po tayo sa NT. Kidney chi, not fair. Premature ejaculation, dribbling of urine that is worse after sex, clear frequent urination, weak stream urination, incontinence of urine, soreness and weakness of the lower back, uh, mahina din po mga tuhod, uh, tiredness, dragging down feeling in the lower abdomen, feeling cold, cold limbs, at uh, ang dila po ay pale, at ang pulso ay deep weak. Ang acupuncture point na ginamit, gagamitin po dito ay bladder 23, REN4, at DO4. Yung mengmen. The next naman po ay spleen and heart yang deficiency. So again, premature ejaculation, poor appetite, may slight abdominal distension pagkatapos kumain, uh, pagkapagod, lassitude, Pale complexion po, weakness of the limbs, loose toes, nakakaramdam ng lamig, cold limbs, edema, palpitations, shortness of breath on exertion, spontaneous sweating, slight uh, feeling of discomfort or stuffiness in the heart region. At ang dila po ay pale and wet. Deep, weak po yung pulso. Ang, ang points po na ginamit dito ay REN12. Uh, stomach 36, spleen 6, bladder 20, heart 5, bladder 15, REN 15, uh, moxa po. Then, punta naman tayo sa full, damp heat in the liver channel. Uh, premature ejaculation, burning on urination, urinary difficulty, yung hindi makaihi ng maayos. Dark urine, genital popular, or vesicular skin rashes and itching. Fullness of the hypochondrium, ab uh, abdomen, or hypogastrium. So bitter taste, nausea, feeling of heaviness sa katawan. Red tongue with redder sides and sticky yellow coating. Ang pulso po ay slippery, wiry. Ang acupuncture points na ginamit dito ay liver 2, REN 12, REN 9, spleen 9, uh, liver uh, LI 11, REN 5, at saka REN 3. So clinical note, heart chi descending plays a role in ejaculation. Therefore, yung mga premature ejaculation may be due to heart chi deficiency. Uh, sabi po ng author, for, for this reason daw, ang trinitid po niya ay yung heart and kidneys. So sana ma-memorize po natin yan. Thank you po, doctor. Thank you sa lahat. Thank you very much, Ma'am Vina. Let's now proceed to... Pulse diagnosis. We are, we'll, uh, we will continue with the other pulse qualities. Fine pulse. This is translated also as thin and thready. Fine pulse is thin, weak, and soft. It feels like a piece of silk thread, but unlike the soggy pulse, the fine pulse is not superficial. Fine pulse arises when there is too little blood, yin or chi, to fill the vessel, or when damp smothers the vessels. Patterns of imbalance, blood deficiency, yin deficiency, chi deficiency, damp. Typical combinations, fine and rapid, that's yin deficiency heat. 
fine and slow, chi and blood deficiency, plus cold. Fine and choppy, blood deficiency. Fine and slippery, dampness. Faint pulse. The weak pulse is also called a minute pulse. The weak pulse is a more extreme version of the fine pulse. It is even thinner, weaker, and softer. Pulse is difficult to palpate because it is so weak and thin. Diagnostic significance and dynamics are the same as those for the fine pulse. Faint pulse is seen when there is extreme chi deficiency, blood deficiency, and yin deficiency. It will always be a chronic condition. Patterns of imbalance, extreme chi deficiency, extreme yin deficiency, extreme blood deficiency. Typical combinations, faint and rapid, extreme yin deficiency heat, faint and slow, extreme chi and blood deficiency, plus cold, faint and choppy, extreme blood deficiency. Now we go to full pulse. This is also known as excessive or replete pulse. Full pulse feels strong, long, and hard to the touch. It is felt on all three levels. Full pulse will all will arise from excess patterns of imbalance because when there is pathogenic factor present, there will be more chi present in the body than normal. This results in the pulse being fuller. The speed of the pulse will determine if there is excess heat or excess cold. Pattern of imbalance where the full pulse is excess conditions. Typical combinations, full and slow, excess cold, full and rapid, excess heat, full and tight, excess cold, full and slippery, phlegm. Thank you very much for your attention. We now go to acupuncture uh, differentials, uh, differential diagnosis. Let's listen to Mam Teresita Sumile for her presentation. Good afternoon po ulit, Mam Teresita. Yes, no, good afternoon ulit and classmates. DCN Foundations na po tayo, 202. Okay, we'll now listen to Mam Teresita Sumile for damp heat in the spleen. Good afternoon po ulit, Dr. Hector and classmates. Damp heat in the spleen. Etiology. Exterior damp heat, eating contaminated and clean food, possible background spleen chi deficiency. Signs and symptoms are fullness of the epigastrium and lower abdomen, epigastric, abdominal pain, poor appetite, feeling of heaviness, thirst without desire to drink, nausea, vomiting, loose tools with offensive odor, yellow urine, heavy, cumbersome limbs, tenesmus, feeling of heat, low-grade fever and abated by sweating, headache, bitter taste, and yellow sclera. Pulse is slippery and rapid or saggy. Tongue is red, sticky, yellow coating. Treatment principle is to clear heat, resolve dampness, and regulate the intestines. Acupuncture treatments, Spin 9, resolves lower burner damp heat. Do 9, resolves damp heat. Bladder 20, resolves dampness. Ren 9, harmonizes intestines. Stomach 22, regulates intestines. Bladder 22, regulates spleen and stomach. Stomach 25, regulates large intestine. Spleen 6, Res resolves damp heat, lung 11, 
clear seeds and resolve them. Gallbladder 34, resolves damp heat. Ren 11, harmonizes middle burner. Stomach 28, regulates lower burner. And LI4, clears heat. Now for yellowing of body, eyes, drain, liver 3, and gallbladder 34. For itchy skin, add spin 10. For pronounced heat, drain, do 14, I'm sorry, do 14, prick LI1 to bleed and then needle with drainage, no moxa. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you very much, Monteresita. We now go to acupuncture patterns and practice and let's call once again, um, Ma'am Vina Pasqua for the presentation. She will talk about impotence. Good afternoon, Ma'am Vina. Good afternoon po ulit, Dr. Good afternoon po sa lahat. Impotence is a condition of adult males characterized by either inadequate erection of the penis or erection that does not last sufficiently long. Etiology and pathology. Ang location po ng abnormality leading to impotence is mainly in the external genitalia at saka po yung kidney. But impotence also ay merong close relationship po sa puso, the liver at saka yung spleen. Decline of vital uh, gate yang is the most common in practice while dampness, dampness heat is uncommon. Decline of vital gate yang. Uh, pag mahina po yung constitution, excessive masturbation, tapos yung maagang uh, too early marriage and childbearing, or sexual in overindulgence can lead to deficiency of kidney essence. And nadidecline po yung vital gate yang. This results in inadequate erection. Yan po yung cause. Uh, impairment of spleen and heart. The Yang Ming Meridian is the sea of water and grains and responsible for, responsible for the nourishment of the penis. Injury of the heart and the spleen by uh, excessive brooding or anxiety can affect po yung Yang Ming and the Chung Meridians. At naglilid din po ito ng deficiency of both Qi and blood. The penis loses its nourishment and impotence may result. Next po ay impairment of kidney by fear. Excessive or persistent fear, yung takot can injure the kidney and cause deficiency of kidney chi and the kidney essence. This may result in the penis failing to erect. Hindi pa tayo. Trapping of liver chi. The liver governs the tendons and the penis naman is the focal point of all tendons. Brooding and rage can both disturb liver functions and lead to inadequate function of all tendons. In such circumstances, yung penis po may fail to erect. Downward so dampness hit naman, alcoholic or dietary intemperance can easily injure the spleen and the stomach which in turn may give rise to endogenous dampness and heat. Downward flow of dampness and heat can cause flaccidity of the penis. Pag non-illnesses, occasionally, the urogenital system fails to develop normally. Impotence may be an associated feature. Also, certain formulas can adversely affect erectile function. Clinical manifestations po, uh, meron pong dalawang common patterns. In one, merong failure yung erection during attempted sexual intercourse, but normal erection during dreams, so sa panaginip lang. In, in the other, there is erection that is not sustained. In both patterns, there may be spermatorrhea or premature ejaculation. 
Commonly associated symptoms include thin semen, coldness, aching, weakness of the waist and knees, lassitude, and generalized weakness. Po. Or mental depression, timidity, and suspiciousness. O kaya impeded ur urination and prolonged dribbling. So, yan lang po. Thank you, doctor. Thank you sa lahat. Thank you very much, Ma'am Vina. We now proceed to signs and symptoms. Let's uh, listen once again to Ma'am Teresita Sumile. Good afternoon po ulit. Good afternoon ulit, Dr. Hector and classmates. Signs and symptoms, number 96 na po tayo. And now let's talk about discharge from the eyes. Discharge from the eyes is a translation of the Chinese term yan xue, which indicates a thick discharge from the eyes as opposed to a watery one, which is called you. I'm sorry, but. And then next is liver fire. Yellow discharge from the eyes, lid shut eyes, painful eyes, headache red face, dizziness, tinnitus, irritability, propensity to outbursts of anger, thirst, bitter taste, constipation, dark urine, red tongue with redder size and dry yellow coating, and the pulse is wiry and rapid. Next is heart fire. Ye yellow discharge from the eyes, red, painful eyes, palpitations, thirst, agitation, insomnia, dream disturbed sleep, feeling of heat, red face, bitter taste, red tongue with redder tip, and yellow coating. The pulse is overflowing rapid. Next is seeing deficiency with empty heat. Signs and symptoms are yellow, thin discharge from the eyes, dry and red eyes, feeling of heat in the evening, dry mouth at night, night sweating, pipe bum heat, red tongue without coating, clothing empty and rapid pulse. Other symptoms and signs depend on the organ involved, which may be liver, heart, kidneys, or lungs. Next, deficiency of G and blood. Chronic light water discharge from the eyes that is aggravated by overexertion, poor appetite, loose tools, weak voice, tiredness, blurred vision, dizziness, numbness or tingling of the limbs, palpitations, dull pale complexion, pale tongue, weak or choppy pulse. Next is invasion of wind heat. Yellow discharge from the eyes, itchy and red eyes, aversion to cold, fever, cough, sore throat, stuff or runny nose with yellow discharge, headache, body aches, light, slight sweating, slight thirst, swollen tonsils, tongue slightly red on the sides in the chest area or on the front part. Pulse is floating rapid. Next is toxic heat missiles. Thick yellow discharge from the eyes, fever, thirst, restlessness, red eyes, red tongue with red points and thick dry yellow coating, overflowing rapid pulse. This corresponds to the G level of missiles. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you very much, Mom Teresita. We now proceed to the last topic, bleeding. We are... Let's talk about the treatment principles for bleeding. Bleeding must always be treated by attending to the underlying cause. Heat, empty heat, Qi deficiency or blood spaces. 
never by simply using herbs that stop bleeding. Principles of treatment of bleeding were outlined in great detail by Dr. Tang Zonghai in his book, A Discussion on Blood Patterns. In this book, he, ex he outlines a fourfold strategy to treat bleeding. The four principles of treatment aimed at stopping bleeding are harmonize blood, treat the root cause of bleeding, astringe, treat the chi. The first of these aims, in turn, is composed of four steps. Stop bleeding, invigorate blood, calm blood, nourish blood. All these four principles of treatment are to be adopted simultaneously in any type of bleeding. So for harmonizing the blood, we stop the bleeding, eliminate stasis, calm the blood, nourish blood. For To treat the root cause, clear heat and cool blood, clear empty heat, cool blood and nourish in, tonify chi, move blood and eliminate stasis, warm yang and expel cold, which is rare. Third, a strange, and the fourth one is treat the chi, tonify and firm the chi, subdue rebellious chi. So these are the four aims of treatment in bleeding. The rationale of the four treatment plans or the four treatment aims is briefly as follows. Harmonize blood. It's necessary to move calm and nourish blood after stopping bleeding. Treat the root cause. This is essential to treat bleeding. Root cause may be blood heat, blood empty heat, chi deficiency, or stasis of blood, as indicated before. Rarely, bleeding may derive from cold. A strange. This is an adjuvant to the stopping bleeding method. It consists in the use of astringent herbs, which, although they do not stop bleeding by themselves, they help the stopping bleeding herbs. Treat chi. This consists of tonifying chi for bleeding from spleen chi deficiency, raising chi for bleeding from sinking of chi, or subduing rebellious chi for bleeding upward. Example, epistaxis or hemoptysis. All these four principles of treatment are to be adapted simultaneously in any type of bleeding. Thank you very much for listening. And we would like to thank everyone for joining. Special thanks to our uh, presenters. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Paul.